Welcome to episode 24. Today, we're going to take on a posture of peace by stepping away from fear and standing firmly in perfect love. Hi, I'm Lindsay Van Zale. Posture is a podcast that serves as a short, audible fist bump to remind you that God is in everything. Together, we're going to be emboldened to take a daily posture of perfect peace. Psalm chapter 34, I'm going to be reading verses 4, 5, 8, 17, and 18. Trust me, it is so good. Verse 4 says this, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all of my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces will never be ashamed. Verse 8, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Verse 17, 18. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all of their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and he saves the crushed in spirit. With all that's happening in the world right now, are you afraid? If so, I just want you to know that there is an abundance of grace and love for you to rest in today. In our most vulnerable state, the Lord promises to draw near to us and save us. If you find yourself brokenhearted or totally crushed, by all that's going on in the world, or perhaps how it is directly affecting your world right now, I just want you to know that the Lord is coming close, not to reprimand you for your fear, but to rescue you from it. He is always at the ready to exchange what torments you for perfect love and his perfect peace. You know, we as people of the kingdom, have not been given a spirit of fear, but one of power and of love and of sound mind, which is good news. However, it leaves us who are right now fighting fear or just feeling fully afraid with a tension because how do we live into that identity? How do we become unafraid in a time where fear itself has become very viral? Well, we look to what David talks about here, and we, we seek the Lord. And I also want to remind you of a promise that we talked about back in episode 5, that in uh, it's 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, that says, Perfect love cast out fear. You know, David goes to love himself in these scriptures for his deliverance from his fears. And there's an expectation from David here that when he goes to the Lord, he's going to taste and experience God's goodness in his life. I don't know about you, but I have found that I am most afraid when I believe that I am most unloved. You know, we don't become less afraid by denying that we're having problems or that the world is having problems. I believe we become unafraid when we become fully convinced that because of Jesus's love for us, all of those problems are denied from having us. I don't know about you, but there have been times in my life where I have allowed fear to question God's love for me instead of letting God's love for me put fear into question. I have also been guilty of holding my fear up to news reports and fact sheets to verify my fear instead of holding my fear up against the word of God for his vindication. I've also at times (laughs) sought friends, sought social media influencers to validate my fear and condone my worry 
instead of seeking the Lord, like David did in chapter 34, verse 4, to prove his faithfulness to me. So what about you? Are you feeling afraid right now? Let me ask you another question. Are you feeling, are you believing that you are completely and relentlessly and passionately loved by the Lord? It makes a difference because Satan knows that it's God's love for us that makes these promises possible and available to us. And so he knows that if he can convince us of this one thing, (laughs) that we are not totally loved by God, then he can also easily convince us that none of these promises are possible. You know, we've been practicing possibility as a posture community this week, and I believe that the Lord grows relentlessly after impossibility because of its potential to breed fear in our lives when it goes completely unchecked. So if you're feeling afraid, there's no condemnation, there's no shame, but there is freedom available. Let's practice possibility right now with this one question. What if today was your last day living afraid? What would be possible tomorrow? Here's an even better question. What if yesterday was your last day living afraid? What then would be possible? I want to pray for us right now. Lord, give us eyes to see how you see things. Lord, your word says that we have the mind of Christ. So Jesus, I'm asking for you to share your thoughts with us today. We want to think the way that you think. Lord, give us the boldness to speak only the truth in love and give us the boldness to not speak anything beneath that standard. Father, I pray right now for everyone watching that you would give us the wisdom to be proactive in staying healthy and in protecting our communities from the spread of this virus Lord, I pray over everyone right now that you would give us the wisdom to diligently guard our hearts from the destruction of unbelief. And Father, I pray right now over everyone watching or listening, Lord, you break the hold of the poverty spirit that says we will never have enough. Break the hold of the orphan spirit that says we will never be enough. And Father, I pray that you would break the hold of the foreboding spirit that says, Lord, you will never be enough. We rebuke and reject those lies and we fully embrace your truth. And Father, I pray for everyone watching right now that they would experience a tangible encounter of your love today. Meet them where they are. Draw near as your word says and save those right now who are crushed in spirit. Father, I pray that we will all be emboldened today to break free from fear, to fully embrace your perfect love so that we can be the salt and light to a world who is threatening to go dark right now. And I pray all of these things in the authority that was given to me by Jesus Christ. Amen. The promise of perfect peace is found in Isaiah 26.3. And in Hebrew, it is shalom, shalom, meaning complete wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken. This is who you are in Jesus. Let's declare this together. Today, I am kept in perfect peace. With my whole heart, I trust the Lord. I am strong, I am victorious, I am whole. Remember friend, you are a living testimony of Jesus's ultimate win not because of anything you did, but because of what he did for you. With every step you take today, you're putting Jesus's victory on display and Satan's defeat on replay.